the plan all along. Hopefully there won't be a lot of delay. Uh, hopefully there won't be a lot of uh, a leg of um, latency because we are on we're broadcasting live on Wi-Fi, which is a super duper no no. But that's what we got. Maybe next time we'll get the guy to put a a link back here. Maybe he's out. Which guy? The cable guy. I have a call. The Verizon guy. Yeah, I know. The Verizon. Oh. Frontier. <laughs> Thirty years of calling it Verizon. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll call them and and see if they can if they don't want to charge several several thousand dollars to do it because they charge stupid amounts of money for simple stuff like that. But anyway. Um, Again, welcome. I trust that you've been well. I hope that your Valentine's Day went well. Happy Valentine's Day. Late Valentine's yep. Day. And you can see uh, our little um, our little light things that our son gave us for our set. Aren't they nice? Do you have them on? Huh? Not on. No, no. If you put them on, it's weird. Hey, Jennifer. Um, Good morning. They, th th their light's the wrong color. I'm in the dark. No, no, you're not. You're fine. That, well, if you, if you sit up straight, you're not in the dark. <laughs> You move to the dark, but then my D doesn't show. I can't see you. <laughs> well, you know what I'll do next time. I'll yes. I'll switch them. As a matter of fact, I won't wait till next time. I'll do it now. <laughs> I'll be right back. Welcome to my world. Oh. Knock himself over. This space is tight. Tight. But I'm working on it. I'm gonna get it to where it's comfortable. Matter of fact, I'm going to work on it today. I'm off today. There you go. See, and now that's your D. Um, and I can't see my dub. Well, that's okay. I don't care. Uh, in any case, that's how it is. I know a lot of people who do YouTube and a lot of people who do this kind of thing. This is evidence, and this is hopefully encouragement to you. It's like, just do it. You're not going to have the perfect studio. If you've no. ever been to a television studio, you're not going to have the perfect lighting. You're not going to have all that stuff. And a person to do cameras and the best editing tool. You're not going to. So if you got something to say, just just do what you got to do. Flip and say it. Um, that's how that's how you get done, and that's how you get stuff started. All right. And as time progresses, you get a little you better. Change, get a little you do better. Other things. Get a little better. Because we progressed, and we finally got our studio set up. <laughs> such that such that such, such that it is. is. <laughs> but know. we're getting there. It's getting there. We actually got moved in and were able to do something out of here today. So I think he was nervous on me coming back here. Well, what? This is his little office. This is and this room's been my domain for a while, and it's been a hot mess. But it's been somewhere I've been comfortable, sharing. and I do video podcasts from here, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. There you go. Look who's here. Julia. Do uh, you give us a thumbs up? Um, in any case. Our topic this morning is a topic that Deb sent me last night. Um, yes, after I had worked all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> know your worth in a relationship. Is that what and you said? So, yeah, are signs you've signs forgotten you've gotten, yourself. Yeah, signs you've forgotten your worth in, in your relationship. Um, and, and, I, and I read the article, and basically the, the author mentions that this happens most often um, early on in relationships where people are in love yeah so in love in love and they forget they forget their friends they forget their family they forget to do well on their jobs they just kind of so in love. in love I'm so in love yeah and and guys we have friends who do this it isn't just women guys with this too they just you know what the soon as they find a girlfriend they just ghost they just simply disappear you're like so where's so-and-so I don't know he got a girlfriend I ain't seen him in t I ain't seen him in three weeks as they call nope text nope FaceTime nope why because he's in love and it's nothing wrong with being because the 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 senses are well, from what I read the senses are very our our emotions really like being in love we get addicted that first to it. that first feeling of something new and you're excited and you want to be with that person all the time and and 
we get that way. We like that kind of thing. That's why a lot of people, when they get that, what do they call the seven year itch in a marriage and our relationship, they, they're ready to go because they like that feeling. Is the oxytocin of of no of the newness that gets the that, fun that and, gets released in your brain? So, uh -huh. um, so it is a it, it's being part of a partly a chemical reaction too. Um, so people get addicted to that because oxytocin it feels good. like a runner's high. That feeling you feel um, when you are excited about excited about, excited about anything. So, <clears throat> and that's fine, except when it goes too far. Now the the author had like seven points, and we're not going to go all over seven points. Um, we're going to hit a couple of them, and the first one is your partner's goals have become your goals. It reminds me of the scene from Coming to America. Whatever you like, I like. It. What's your favorite food? Whatever, Whatever your favorite food is. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? Whatever what do you, you like, like to, to do, do for fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is a, which is a tremendous scene. Bark like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to America. If you haven't seen it. Then what the hell have you been doing your whole life? Watch it. It's an older Eddie Murphy movie. It's a great movie. And they are supposed to be bringing out a number two, which oh. I'm sure will not be as good as the first one. But um, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It was fine. Leave, was. leave, leave history alone. Leave things alone. Sometimes you guys leave it alone. It was fine. But anyway, so if you remember that scene in the movie, that you've come to that point, um, and that usually happens early. Um, while common goals are important as you move forward, no doubt, couple goals are important. Um, you got to make sure that each person has personal goals because without personal goals, you can't get any growth. And this is what happens when people say they grow apart, and you know how we feel about that nonsense. But it happens a lot because sometimes people don't have they don't have any personal goals for themselves. Mm -hmm. One partner does, the other partner doesn't, and then you can't kind of just morph one person, yourself into what they morph yeah. yourself into what yeah. they want. And you don't grow apart. One person grows, and the other person doesn't because you don't have any any personal goals. So I think that that, that I think one of the points in the um, in the author's in the author's points was was correct. If you find yourself not having any personal goals, and now those personal goals could be having to do with your physical body they could have to be doing with your spirituality spirituality they could have to do with your your professional life uh anything real anything really um and someone having a personal goal but if you find that you don't have pers any personal goals that you're that all your goals now what's up t briggs um are into what your partner choose? partner um all your goals are in, or what the part your partner's goals are, then that's not healthy. That's probably that's not healthy, and and you'll find that those relationships don't really last because, again, one person go one person grows and the other person doesn't, mm -hmm. and that's when you get codependent. That's when you start dealing with codependency and those kind of issues, which are the death knell for healthy relationships. So, uh, again, I think the author was correct in that sense. Um, the second one is your decisions are usually based off your partner's decisions. Whatever you whatever, you, it, whatever it is you like. whatever you like. And I and I don't all and I I didn't entirely agree with the author um, this time when they said um, because sometimes you just have to know if if you just may be in sync. What happens if you're in a situation where you're really okay, you're not subjugating yourself. Again, every relationship, because it's full of people, is different. Mm -hmm. Because these these uh, these tips will not doesn't mean that you can't be partners with your in your relationship and want to do what your spouse wants to do that's not what we're saying because uh, a lot of times you need to be in partnership with what they're doing in order for 
your marriage or your relationship to to be successful but if you if your whole life goal is just to to make this person happy is to just forget about your your well-being and whatever you need or whatever you want and you totally focused on them then that's a problem yeah again because personal growth is is important in any sort of relationship um, the partners in the relationship both have to grow um, if you take this to a business standpoint if you have two two business entities that merge in and they stay and you still somehow have separate separate decision-making mechanisms both businesses have to grow they just do mm -hmm. you know they have to do Sears and Roebuck both had to grow into become into becoming Sears because if they didn't grow then they would fail and no, then, I know they failed. And Robot just went away. And Robot went away. Well, I think Sears brought him out mm -hmm. eventually. But But balance of these things and what we're talking about is none of these are absolutes please don't think they're absolute so don't, don't start your relationship with your partner this morning flip on the west coast by saying I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do today I don't worry about me <sighs> don't do that um, but it is important that both people grow and I think it's important that an author doesn't mention it in, 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 in her article um, that the other partner needs to encourage the other person to have Hey Johnny, uh, to have personal goals and to have mm -hmm. personal accomplishments and to and to celebrate and them. support them in their their personal goals and what they want to do, and um, because they need to be a separate person beyond your relationship, mm -hmm. and they need to feel successful in what they are doing. Hey, yeah, in order to to make the relationship work. Yeah, I think that that's really important. I think, and, and the author doesn't mention that. Did she mention that in the article? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Where, where the the, uh, the other partner needs to encourage their partner to have personal goals and to celebrate them and and to participate them, um, if you know if they can, because I think that that's often what's missing. Because if one person is frankly, frankly getting all the attention, um, again, like you like, can feel kind of left out. Well, like Debbie said, you know, in, in the beginning, they like. They like getting people like getting the attention. Mm -hmm. You know, it releases oxy, you know, the it oxytocin in your brain, and and you feel you. Yeah, that's why people want to be superstars. They, they like want to be Hollywood actresses and comedians that are successful and all this stuff because it it's a high. You like the attention. Yes, you want the attention. You want to be the 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 top dog in the department, the one that's getting all the all the cross sales and getting all of the my getting the, <laughs> all of the accolades and stuff from the the customers and 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 can do it all and then, you know you get presented in the meetings and stuff because you got the highest sales this month and all that that feels good. People like the attention. We like mm -hmm. the attention. We can't help it. We just love the attention. So, so I mean, that happens in the workplace, and also happens um, it happens in relationships. So, one the partner getting all the attention might not understand that that they need to also encourage the other person in their mm -hmm. personal um, in their personal growth um, journey. And I think that and the, and the author doesn't mention that at all, and that's too bad. I read the I read the whole article. Oh, good. I actually read it read it with my eyes uh, mouth the words the whole and time and his eyes were red and they were and they're red now i haven't slept <laughs> i get to bed like he stays up too late i was in bed for hours and hours i had done all those meals and did all the did uh a few other little things that had knickknacks and cleaning and all that stuff because i like to wake up to a clean house and then i did this and I went to bed. I was still up. I was still up. And uh, I have learned my lesson. I need to sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleep's important, for sure. I didn't get any last night, but I'll get some tonight for sure. Um, but in any case, you know that's the kind of thing that you have to encourage people. You, have to, you know, they, the when the partner getting all the attention has to recognize that and encourage the other person in some personal goals. And it can't be like that scene from. 
from coming to America. All right, what's the what's, what's the third one? No, let's go. Can we can we get to the fourth one? Did you get the fourth one? I didn't get to that. One. Oh, I did. I you know why? Because I was up. I went to bed. I was up. You spend a lot of time doing things your partner likes to do. Um. I don't know necessarily if that, again, if I agree with the author at that point, um, but you spend maybe an inordinate amount of time doing what your partner oh, likes yeah. to do. Um, maybe. Anyway, um, so in a long-term relationship, <laughs> activities sort of ebb and flow, I think. They go back and forth. Like, for instance, when we first got together, when we first got married, I did a lot of marching band stuff. A lot. It was my. It was, it, it was what all I was involved in long. all week long, and we week, football season all weekend long during football season, and with the weekends, and we wrote drill on we wrote drill on on, on Saturday and Sunday, and that's where it used to be in my kitchen writing drill on Saturday all and night. Sunday, and then we um uh, had a rehearsal on Monday and Thursday, and games on Friday, and then if we weren't doing something, that we were at some marching band show do. Traveling a lot of stuff. Well, and Debbie, Debbie did um, what a lot of marching band wives do. They participate early, and then they bail. <laughs> I think I participated because I had been in a band, and I it was interesting to me. So I wanted to see sort of the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, kind of the behind, behind the scenes stuff, and it was interesting <laughs> until. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> Still like, oh, okay. Is that all that is? <laughs> eh. uh, have fun. Be careful. Drive safely. Uh, you know, so things ebb and flow. And um, and it's funny. I, I just had a thought about um, Mr. and Mrs. A, and how she used to she used to go early, and then you and then and then later on in their marriage, you never saw her. Mm -hmm. She was still as every bit supportive. But you just oh, never she saw. Just you just never saw time. her. I mean, she had Kimmy. Mean, there were kids, and she had other stuff to do, and she had a job, mm -hmm. and that was his thing, and that was his job, and it was his life. Because it can be a lot. It's a lot, especially when you go to the contest. Because of the, after the football season, then they start doing the contest. This school has one. That school has one. And I used to go to all of them, and all the the top. And, and, mm -hmm. I used to announce. Mm -hmm. So still I still do, um, but and then later on in our relationship, um, Deb was super involved in the community because it was part. It was kind of part of, like like me. It was part of her job, and um, I went to things as Mr. Debbie a lot, and I was fine. I didn't mind being Mr. Debbie. I liked it. It was fun. I was sort of there was no pressure really. I just put the name we tag. We went to a lot of events. I just put the name. I just put the name tag on. Socializing, Hi. community events and stuff. This is my husband. And Hi. <laughs> and eat, he was there. Eat the rubber chicken. <laughs> Try not to get in any, 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 any controversial conversations. And just chill, you know. And that was, and that was a part of our life. Hey, Dave. Uh, that was a part of our life too for a while. And then and now not so much. Not as much as it was before. So I think that those things ebb and flow, mm -hmm. but we. I mean, it gets back to the to, to the point I was making before, though, Deb. I think it gets back to that one partner has to make sure they encourage the other in their, in personal, their personal stuff personal and stuff. professional stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you won't have one side sort of taking over and the other side. And then you wake up and your life is nothing. And you're like, and you, and am I in this? At all? <laughs> and you. That's when you I'm have the time when you say. Well, what what am I worth? What's I'm, my life worth? I'm not in the picture anymore. Yeah, so I think that that's something that you have to watch out for. And I think I don't think that one partner is responsible for that. I think that both partners are are, are responsible for making sure that their partner feels valued. Yes, that you they feel like they're included in the the party. Yeah, I think that both people are I think both people are responsible for that. Uh, and I think that it's tough if you're the person who getting again getting all the, all the accolades to notice um, because the other person seems because you, your your partner seems so willing mm -hmm. and they seem like they're having fun. Yeah, they seem like everything's fine. <laughs> 
But so you, sometimes they can put on a show. Well, everyone wants to put, well, they put on a show to make sure that you're okay. They want you to be okay. They want you to be okay. Um, but I think that we all have to look at each other and, and make sure that, you know, are you okay? Are you okay? Um, and then, and, and then find things and find things that your partner is doing, especially if they, if you are in the, especially if you're still in the working years, um, which a lot of us will be until we're 90. <laughs> That's how it is. That's what it is. Now. That's how it is. And Social Security is going. Social Security uh, uh, retirement years went up to ninety five. Okay, fine. Um, but it keeps creeping up. It does. Up. I remember and when it was sixty five, sixty two. Now it's sixty two. Now it's sixty five. Mm -hmm. It's going to be sixty seven. Well, soon. for uh, for me, it's sixty seven. Is it really? Mm -hmm. So I'm almost like, eh, don't worry about it. I'll just keep the money. Don't worry about it. But that's a whole other. That's a whole other podcast, and I'll do that later, probably today. But in any case, so again, both people in the relationship have to check on the other from time to time, making sure they're okay. Uh, it comes down to something. All you have to do is ask. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Because if you every weekend you are doing what your spouse does, you know it's all about them. It's all about them. And then, you know, one weekend, he doesn't have anything going on, and he looks at you and says, so what do you want to do? I don't know. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do because that. Because it drives come, them crazy. Come up with something. Come up Skydiving, with something. bungee jumping, something. Rollerblading. Rollerblading. Well, you know he can't skate. He can't skate. Uh, anything. Come up with something. Something. Alligator wrestling, anything. Hi, Candy. Hey, Candy. Um, so <laughs> please come up with something. But have something ready <laughs> with that, so that you you can go to your side of the team and figure out what you want to do and what, you know. Don't, don't have your whole life focus be totally on what they are doing. Yeah, I think the author um, sort, of, sort of slants the article in the sense that that person isn't valuing the other. Um, and I think that sometimes people don't value themselves. That's the thing. It's not that you don't value the other person and stuff like that, but if you don't have any personal wealth in valuing yourself, then you got to find somebody to find it in. Well, you see, and that's the thing. If you don't, I mean, if you, if you find yourself not feeling, not feeling worth, well, what's it called, worth in a relationship, how much do you value yourself? Yes, and no, I'm not. No, I am not blaming the victim. I am not. But I think that a lot of people who get involved in a relationship and then suddenly wake up and don't feel any self worth is because they didn't they didn't take any worth for themselves into the relationship to start with. And if you start and if you start feeling that way, then only really only you can pull out a nosedive. Now your partner can notice it and try to help you, but only you. Hey, what up, Chuck? I love, I've been. I love saying that for the past forty plus years. Went to high school with Chuck. Um, if you're in that nosedive that you're not feeling any self worth, your partner can notice it, but only you have control of the stick. You have control of your own life. You've got to pull that stick back and come out of that dive yourself. You have got to institute and implement your own self worth. That's why they call it self worth. Self -worth. Create your own self-worth. So is, is it totally incumbent? Hey, Shan, is it totally incumbent on your partner to notice this? No. Mm -hmm. Not in my opinion. Um, I think the author takes this another direction. Um, but my thought is that it's not totally incumbent on, you, on your partner to notice and fix it. Because most times in relationships like that, your partner can't fix it. People come into relationships in you all sorts why? of ways. You know why? Because your partner's not in here. You may be here, but you can't be in here. That's too much responsibility. I can't be in your brain. I can't be in your brain. They crazy. can't know what, what it's makes you happy it's, all the time. It's too crazy. It you know, and, and over the years, what makes you happy changes. Which is really unfair. <laughs> I thought I had it figured out, but then it was all nope. Oh, I don't like doing that anymore. But it was it was you. We did it Thursday. 
I don't like doing it anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. I always and don't feel bad if you if that happens. Because it's going to happen. <laughs> it's, it's, going to, it's going to happen. Don't feel bad if you think you have it figured out and you send, you've been sending her roses for the last 20 years and that's what she likes. And, and for five like, years she, she's hated roses. Yes. <laughs> I didn't tell you that. I don't want roses anymore. I like daffodils. Oh, what Daff daffodils? <laughs> Where the hell am I going to get daffodils? I want lilies. Lilies? You can't get lilies on your birthday. Oh my god! Yeah, um, we get to. Uh, we are blessed to put this uh, this broadcast up on building building your marriage on the rock. So for you folks, hey, um, uh, you are in Pastor Smart's church. Uh, he posted. I don't know. A year or so ago, I said, "Are you learning the landscape of your uh, of of your spouse?" And I said, "Every time I do, it changes." <laughs> I have a renovation. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and it's your okay. Your spouse may have a renovation every few years. That's okay. That's when they move the furniture around a little bit, and you just hope you don't lose your sight. Both figuratively and literally. So, yeah. So, so they will take. They move furniture around. Like, why is there a couch here? There didn't used to be a couch here. Why is this table in the middle of the room now? <laughs> Dodge. Oh, not a big deal. Don't get up in the middle of the night. Don't get, especially if you don't. If you ain't been home in a while, you don't get up in the middle of the night. Um, but um, no, actually, the, the the table in the room. Actually, I like the way that looks. It's it, it's you have to pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> you gotta focus. Walk to the couch. Okay, past the table. Sat down. Whew, made it. But um, it, it it looks good. In any case, so that's I changed things a lot. Oh yeah. But so that's how it is, and that's okay. Um, ultimately, we are responsible for our own self worth. We are responsible for our own our own self. Anything. Now, we can be encouraged by our partner, and we should be encouraged. But it's not your partner's responsibility to know everything. They can't. If you're in a dive, you, you have control of the stick. And sometimes you need to talk to your partner. Let them know how you're feeling. Um, I tend to, to have problems with that sometimes. And it, it manifests in other ways. And then when it's actually something else. Which makes things a lot more complicated, too. <laughs> you have to just... Welcome keep, to marriage. Keep bobbing and weaving. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. <laughs> That's what it is. Bob and weave. Uh, but, again, now we don't hope to... Um, and it's about time for us to go. Um, yes, I have okay, so we'll hope to, to solve anything. I want to hope to offer you any point by point. If you do these three things, this will happen. Dum because in your relationship has Life a, has the same way. problem everybody else has. It is chock full of humans. <laughs> your relationship is humans everywhere. Just you, you can't excuse me. You can't avoid them. They're everywhere. And with that comes all sorts of complications. People bring all sorts of of baggage to their relationships that they have you know, for years. And some stuff is not a big deal for most things, but that that piece of baggage, that handbag shows up every now and again in certain situations where you don't carry that baggage all the time, but in this situation, it gets it's triggered right and you pick it up. It's just the nature of people. You know, I don't fault people for their baggage um, because it's almost impossible, really, to put it all down and start fresh like you're a goldfish. In those, ba in that baggage is all the things that have made you you, for the good or the bad. Clean the tank. At least you can clean the tank, so it's in there, and you can, at least you can see it, recognize and recognize what you're doing. All right, we gotta get out of here because Debbie has a doctor appointment. Am I going? I don't know. Oh. Apparently, I am. All right, see, that's what that means. So y'all can get that, did you? Did you get that? Husbands got that. Anyway, we got to get out of here maybe for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and forget the sakes, take care of yourself. And take just care. like always, 
We love, we you, love you, and, and there's, there's nothing, nothing you can do, do about, about it. it. Good night now. Good night now.